Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. So we are going to be doing a number of things. As you can see here, we have our PayPal enclosure. And yes, I've done quite a bit of work to it. However, I am going to be calling a mulligan on our first two enclosures and changing up quite a bit of things in the zoo. As you can see, I have been in the zoo for a long, long time, getting some research done as well as getting a little bit of money up so that we could really focus on what I wanted to take care of today. So with that being said, I'm going to hop away and then I'll come back and we'll take a quick tour of everything that I've done. Okay, and welcome back, folks. So as you can see, we're about to go on a little bit of a tour. I have dropped down to ground level and I've changed the path, as you can see here. And I'm going to very quickly show you what I have been working on in this very, very, very extended time that I have been gone. Uh, I have put trash cans all over the paths. That's uh, that's right. That's all I've done. No. Uh, so I now have this little house back here that has a uh, keeper house and over here is a, I believe it's either a water filtration system or a generator. I don't remember. Yeah, water filtration. And then our P files are now gone. And I will explain to you why I did that. So the P files did not really fit the theme of what I wanted to do for the zoo. So I ended up taking them out. And you can see here that we have a very nice, very large enclosure here. And I've put over this, uh, this nice little awning so our guests don't get hot or cold or wet. And it does snow on this map quite a bit. We have tables and chairs sitting right out here. And in here, we have a very nice little eating area, of course, all with um, ATMs and everything else. And our guests are able to actually view our animals from inside our restaurant, food area, whatever you want to call it. They're able to view our animals from in here while they're sitting and eating and having a good time. So this is now where our bears are going to be enclosed so uh as you can see it looks very very different i did take the same kind of awning idea from there and really just stretched it out you can actually see all the way into their enclosure now and there are there's the cave the cave is much much larger and if you come around this side there is a viewing point directly into into the den so if they happen to be in here guests can stand here and actually watch them in their den so what I'm about to be working on now is actually right in this area right here, kind of where the path starts to turn and go up that way. I'm going to be working on quite a bit of, a, of an exhibit house slash facilities for some of our staff and also restrooms because we have, as of now, we have no restrooms anywhere in our zoo. So I was gonna try and squeeze those into here, but the, it just really didn't work so that's what i'm going to be working on right here now i'm not going to put any animals in the uh in the exhibits uh, i'm going to do that live on camera with you so don't worry it's not going to be all of a sudden there's a bunch of animals here as a matter of fact we currently have no animals anywhere in our zoo and i can't wait to tell you what's actually going to be right there in that enclosure but anyway with that being said i will be back in just a minute so as you can see, this is going to be another one of those speed builds. I'm not going to do this on every episode unless you guys really like it. But for this particular episode, I felt like there was just so much building that I really needed to at least show some of the building. So this is the exhibit house that I'm building here. You can see that I've already done the exterior walls and restrooms. And right now I'm just going through and laying a staff path just to see if everything does connect pretty well. And so this building actually ends up doing a number of different things for me. So, and one thing to uh, really mention is as I get a bit better at building, you'll notice that here in a minute, uh, I really struggle with some of the wooden pieces or even these pieces, for example, I could have grabbed both of these at one time and really worked with them as opposed to working with them individually. As I get better at doing some of these custom things and really get back into the swing of Planet Zoo, because it has been quite a while since I've played, then um, yeah, you'll see the speed builds themselves improve quite a bit. So as I was saying, this particular building actually ends up doing a number of different things for us. So it is the exhibit house, but also right across from this, and you'll see it here in just a minute, is actually our little cafe area with the McCall's. So, I needed a place for all the staff to be able to go and have a place to take a break without traipsing all the way across the park. So what I thought about doing was actually, and you'll see it here in just a second, I end up putting staff facilities in the very back of this. Here I'm just doing some wallpaper. 
And I really wanted to throw back to the uh, to the PFAL enclosure that we did last week. And then just coloring everything black. The main reason for coloring everything black is because any of the exhibit houses that I've been into personally, and they're probably not all like this, but a lot of them are very dark. Some of the uh, exhibit animals can be nocturnal, so they keep it pretty dark in there. I personally think it turned out pretty well, and I ended up just using a lot, utilizing that just because I thought it looked pretty cool. And I ended up putting up privacy glass, just trying to keep out as much light as possible. And I do that around the top as well. Here I am just putting tops on to the restrooms uh, and then coloring them black as well. But yeah, so one reason that I really decided to end up redoing the zoo is because I got to thinking about the, the taiga biome and I felt like the peafowl just really didn't work with that biome. It snowed quite a bit. I was finding myself having to add heaters and stuff like that to their enclosure. So I really wanted to rework their enclosure. And once I started thinking about it and really realizing which animals would work best, the idea to just change up the zoo, call a mulligan on it, and really start working with different animals and really sticking to that taiga biome. And so that's why we ended up losing our peafowls. I did enjoy the peafowls. They multiply like crazy, but I really did enjoy them. But here I'm just adding that same privacy glass across the top just to try and keep out that sunlight as much as possible. One thing I do want to make sure and say is thank you very much to all the people who have subscribed to the channel recently. It really does make a huge difference to the channel. I know that we're only like 200 and I think at last look 230 or something like that, but it really does make a huge difference. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the subscribers in general, not just the new ones. Thank you to everyone that is subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. And all your feedback and comments has been absolutely wonderful. So here I am doing the roof and I did put lights in as you can see and then coloring that black as well. Here you see the two staff rooms going in and a keeper hut. And then so I took a look at the uh, negative impact and so I decided to bring them out a bit further. And then of course I've co colored everything else black. These walls might as well be black too. I wanted to do this because I do know that decoration actually does help to diminish the negative impact impact range. So then doing the tops for these and then making it look a little bit thicker, doing the roof and then around the outside. So yeah, I'm going to hush as this finishes up and we'll see you back in just a second. All right, and welcome back. As you can see, our zoo is still closed and we're currently paused for right now, but we're going to go ahead and change that here in just a second. So there we are, we're now alive. I'm gonna keep it paused just for another moment. We're gonna go into zoo. As you can see, we have 71 animals currently. We're gonna take our male and female bears and we're going to move them because every animal got put into the trade center for the time being so that I could uh, work on their habitat. So we're gonna take them and we're going to place them right down here into their, uh, into their new home. So we'll go ahead and unpause that and let them start working on getting that taken care of for us. And you can see they are off and running. That is wonderful. So while they're doing that, we're gonna start selecting every one of our peafowls and i mean there are just a bajillion of them and we're going to go ahead and get rid of these dudes for either cash or conservation credits or however we can get rid of them they um really did multiply on us quite uh quite frequently all right and now that we have all 66 of our peafowls selected i'm going to go ahead and do a release to the wild on the ones that we can and release them for 99 and then go back in here and try and get rid of the others that we could not release to the wild all right so that took care of the vast majority of all of our peafowls we still have 36 of them yeah only 36 of our peafowls we can close that and go back in everyone that's in the trade center they're going to go ahead and leave as well we'll release them to the wild for an additional 352 conservation credits all right so that gives us uh 2269 conservation credits and uh, we're still bleeding money because the zoo's been closed for quite some time so now it's time to start adding some animals 
into our enclosures so that we can get this park reopened. Let's go ahead and hop in here and see which animals we're going to be placing into our zoo today. Next animal that we're going to be taking a look at and putting in our zoo is going to be the Japanese macaque. I've already gone ahead and looked for several of these little dudes and dudettes and we're going to go ahead and move them into their new enclosure right now and as of right now all i have is seven so we're gonna go ahead and put them in here because we're down to uh nineteen thousand dollars and yeah just a little worried about letting it run too much longer without doing too much more and we definitely need to go ahead and reopen our zoo all of our keepers all of our <laughs> all of our veterinarians and everything they are just running back and forth to gather up our macaques and go ahead and place them into their new enclosure. And hopefully we have guests spawning here very, very soon. Hopefully the guest spawner is working. It is. Here come guests right now. It seems like they do not have a problem paying admission at all. They are more than happy to come on in. Look at them just running into the park. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it real quick because I do need to go ahead and get the Japanese macaques set up because it's terrain hard shelter all that fun stuff is not where it's supposed to be so give me just a moment i'm gonna take care of that and i'll be right back all right guys and i'm back so as i was working on things guests seem to think the tickets are underpriced so we know exactly how to deal with that we'll just go ahead and up the prices just a little bit find that about half of whatever an adult price is tends to work fairly well for the children at least in my my own experience let's see yeah so i guess you're just continuing to funnel on in the inspector is going to arrive here in about seven months or so i did go ahead and get the education board set up as well as our speakers our speakers are actually located up here in the roof of the ceiling and then pipe sound downward to our guests so for our macaques i did go ahead and uh, find this this is obviously a blueprint which i thought was kind of cool i went ahead and put it in and gave them some places to climb over and around through here because they do need quite a bit of climbing space and then i made them this interesting little bridge for them to run across as they're doing right now and then also i took the lighting from here and strung it up around their hard shelter so this is what they're going to be using for hard shelter for now that will probably change but as you can see our guests can come in here and actually watch our macaques they get education here and here and then there's other education boards scattered throughout as well and uh so i was gonna try and do absolutely no craziness and uh before i could get the train set up for our mechanics we uh ended up getting protesters i guess just an another bit of craziness in a starscape zoo why not looks like we have a transformer that failed uh yeah it definitely looks like it has failed and uh you know they probably can repair that if i would have uh finished that path there so let's go ahead and do that real quick there we go it's not the prettiest thing but it will work so let's go ahead and get those two items repaired since i've already called them and asked them to do that but apparently they couldn't do that as you can see our vet research has completed on border teleosis so we're going to take our vet off of that and we have four veterinarians now and we're gonna go ahead and put one of our veterinarians researching our Japanese macaw macaque however you want to pronounce that we don't currently have any guests coming in I was gonna see if we could still raise the price because we're still losing money just from ongoing expenses we have about 21,000 cash flow of 17,000 we have a lot of staff give me just a moment I'm gonna see what I can do to help that out all right so I've done a few things to help stabilize the zoo just a little bit hopefully we'll see this number turn around because we're still losing money <laughs> there we go now we're making money that's wonderful that's what I like to see and we have customers that are getting all kind of treats and things like that so that's wonderful so I think where we're going to go from here is we're actually going to go ahead and start working on getting some of our exhibit animals into the zoo. So we're going to go ahead and drop down in here. And I think this to me, it looks really cool, especially at night. I love the way this looks in here. So let me know down in the comment section what you think, you know, uh, about that floor right there. No, seriously, about the whole thing. I think it looks pretty cool. So the first animal that we're going to be looking for, or the first uh, exhibit animal that we're going to be looking for is going to be our American bullfrog. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and spend the money, even though we're not making any money. We're still currently losing money, but that is okay. We're going to go ahead and spend some money while we have it to spend. And I'm going to do these one at a time so that maybe I don't get protesters 
up in the zoo. And one thing to check too is I don't think I put any donation bins in here. That's definitely something that we'll need to take a look at. Those are only about a hundred bucks each. And so we, we definitely do need some uh, donation bins. Humidity still climbing too much. Dial it down just a bit and we'll start working on the exhibit itself, which we have not researched yet. So nothing we can do about that just now other than just let it be. We're going to go ahead and throw down some donation bins up in here. And I'm wrong. They're only about $50 each. So that's, that's really not that bad. So we've got our American bullfrog now and we already have one guy taking a look at our American bullfrogs. He's not very well educated. Let's go ahead and take care of that as well. All right. Maybe he'll become a bit more educated now since he is standing there and looking at our bullfrog the next animal or next exhibit animal that we're going to be taking a look at is one of my favorites i do enjoy this this one quite a bit so we'll go ahead and adopt both of these and send both of them right in here and once again before before i get any more protesters up in here let's see if we can uh get the temperature just right on on the fire salamander let's dial that up just a little bit and of course put down some education boards all the way around as well and just uh ignore the fact that they say it's for the american bullfrog right now sir that that'll change all right and check on our fire salamander see if its temperature and everything is regulated out just a bit yep looks like we could increase that just a little bit though to make our fire salamander just a little bit happier we'll get that temperature increase just a little bit here there we go all right and i did go ahead and take the opportunity to throw down quite a few donation bins all throughout here so uh hopefully people will feel encouraged to donate all right so the next one we're going to take a look at is the uh giant forest scorpion which I've already put in here. And their temperature should be regulating right about now. There we go. And we'll go ahead and grab some education boards for this location as well. And for the last one, we're just going to do the Brazilian pink or the Brazilian salmon pink. I believe it's tarantula, I believe. No, not tarantula. Brazilian pink, whatever spider. And go ahead and resume play and increase their temperature and uh we're still losing money just periodically it looks like which is okay for now and the notification that we just got it looks like our uh japanese macaque are uh, gonna have some bebes turn on the education boards for these dudes right here and there we are that is our exhibit house completely finished and lots and lots of guests actually uh funneling their way through here that's really nice what is your problem you're protesting so yeah we still have uh, protesters in here. Let's see what guests are thinking as they're coming in. Prices are good. All right, wonderful. So our pricing is still good. And now it looks like we're actually on the upward swing of things. It looks like we're starting to make some money. The next thing that we're gonna be taking a look at is going ahead with our next animal, our next habitat animal. And keep in mind that we do have our uh, grizzly bears way back in the back. I don't know if anybody is actually going way back there and taking a look at them just yet. Hopefully they are. But we're going to give them more of a reason to go back there right now by adding promotion black bear right back here. What I did was I reimagined the enclosure here with kind of a dual cave system. So promotion black bear on one side and grizzly on the other. The caretaker can enter through a tunnel right there that goes inside of both of the uh, both of the habitat. So we'll definitely give our guests more of a reason to go back this way right now. You know, I, I didn't put any donation bins out this way either as a matter of fact i don't think i put donation bins anywhere in this zoo could be one reason why we're not making as much money as i thought we should have been making i could have swore i had donation bins in here maybe i'm losing it put some donation bins in front of our grizzly bears and go ahead and get our guests educated on our grizzly bear hey and look at that i caught it just as a guest was throwing lots and lots of money into our donation bin that's just wonderful and go ahead and get some education going on for our grizzly bears here gotta educate them guests wow looks like we already have a zoo don't we <laughs> that was fast i'll be honest when I first pictured entrusting someone else to build a zoo, I always imagined it'd be my child doing it. I, I guess it wasn't to be, huh? Unless... I don't suppose you're open to being adopted, are you? <laughs> oh, oh, almost forgot. Now you've completed your first lot of jobs, or bronze objectives, as Nancy likes to say. You can, if you wish move on to the next zoo uh you know uh bernard funny you should mention being adopted uh but yeah we're gonna stay on right here and we're gonna continue with this zoo it says our bullfrog is not in the ideal temperature let's take a look at 
our bullfrog real quick. I could have swore that we set up the uh, temperature just right for our bullfrog. Maybe a little too high. Now, what does it mean 91 degrees is too hot for a bullfrog? I had those in my area. 91 degrees is fine for a bullfrog. You hear them croaking all the time. There we go. Hopefully we'll have them a little happier. We're going to set this up for our promotion black bear and get the education set up for them as well. Quick chance to pause it here and take a look at some. We are very, very, very close to completing the silver objective. As a matter of fact, have at least five different species in the zoo. Would have had four in this episode, but uh, due to a bit of uh, incorrect planning on my behalf, that did not happen. So let's go ahead and take a look at the terrain and hard shelter requirements. So it looks like our bears are going to need just a bit more hard shelter. So as you can see, the promotion black bear Space requirement was a little bit more than what I thought it was. Didn't quite measure that out properly. And they do need some nev nevable climbing area. So I'll go ahead and take care of that right now. It shouldn't take but just a second and I'll be back with you as soon as that's done. Okay, and that only took about a minute or so in actual time to fix. And I uh, went ahead and fixed their terrain a bit and gave them some climbing things. And also decorated up the area just a bit. Not not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Giving them some more coverage. They really wanted additional coverage. Uh, one thing they do want as well is one more bear in here. They're not going to get it just yet maybe in the next episode but not in this one. as you can see i did adjust the path pulled everything out a bit gave them just a bit more room so now they're they're quite a bit happier since i did that i think i will go ahead and duplicate a couple of donation bins and put them right over here all right so now our promotion black bear are quite a bit happier we're back to making money once again our inspector does arrive in nine months so we're just gonna let this run for the time being and i do want to give a huge shout out to sparrow 838 thank you very much uh, for the comment in the last video uh regarding the no barriers and things of that nature that was actually quite a bit of help uh what they told me was that to check the uh, the particular enclosure, you can click on the animal and then press H and look at the heat map and the habitat, and it'll show you their traversable area, and then it'll show you if there is a walkable escape point, a climbable escape point, or a jumpable escape point. So that was actually quite a bit of help. I really do appreciate it. And as you can see, none of my animals in this episode have escaped so far. So once again, thank you so much for that. Planet Zoo, you're constantly learning different and new ways to do something. If you want to know how to uh, get protesters in your zoo apparently ask me because i can do it without even trying so it would seem as though our promotion black bear is a little bit unhappy he does want another friend in here with him unfortunately on the market there currently is not a friend for him so that's one of those things i'm just gonna have to kind of keep an eye out on it took a long long time i forgot that the full motion black bear actually do appreciate to have three people or three people three uh wait a minute uh the flow motion back black bear they don't want three in their enclosure according to their zoopedia they want one in one and i am fairly certain that in this enclosure yeah, there's one male and one female there's currently no food available which just means our keeper has not uh has not made it around here just yet but yeah as far as social they should be happy they definitely have what they need as far as social one male one female and then our japanese macaw are now having babies so i don't understand why they have some Fear social problem. So looking right here at their Zoopedia, it says group size one up to two, one male, one female. So they should not be having uh, any issue. Uh, well, not with social wel welfare anyway. Maybe with the fact that uh, the keeper hasn't come around to feed them yet, but not with social welfare welfare and here's our keeper can, can you feed our bears please keeper yeah and uh so i just let that run for a while and all of a sudden they're happy they still have no food the keeper still has not fed them just yet but they are now happy uh i don't understand that that was very odd and our vet has finished some research on our japanese macaw and it looks like our inspector is arriving in five months very interested to see what kind of report we get from our inspector i feel like everything is going fairly well guess happiness is kind of mid education could be better so apparently our bears got uh got over their social needs uh really well and decided to increase the population a bit there so whatever their issue was they got over it and now they're they're happy to create more little black bears so since education is one of the issues that we're having trouble in i actually had these areas reserved for atms but maybe we can educate some people as they go to the restroom there we go we'll just put in some more education boards we have education going on for all of our animals this looks really cool in here at sunset i think kind of a, got a red tint to it really like that we are making money now even though we have less guests in the zoo than what we had originally we are still making money 
which is a great thing. So we're just going to speed a long time here until uh, until the inspector leaves and see how we ended up doing. So the inspector has arrived at our zoo. And I know for you guys, this may seem like a shorter recording. However, for me, I've got probably about 30 to 40 hours in this one right now between coming up with the animals and reworking the zoo and building the enclosures and everything else so i hope you really do enjoy this episode if you do make sure to hit the like button and if you have not already and you would like to you can definitely subscribe to the channel it really does help me out it really helps to let me know that i'm doing a good job and to keep pushing out these videos and definitely comment as well i enjoy all the comments we have completed some more research on our japanese macaw and we'll just keep that running matter of fact we can go ahead and do some research on our moody from motion black bears as well we do have enough vets that's why we have that many vets on staff our inspector has left and the report is ready for viewing so cleanliness we got a five on habitat 17 which i do need to name these we got a three star habitat 12 five and habitat 18 was a five so which one is 17 ah 17 is our moody black bears so i'm just gonna go ahead and name those so that i know what they are as opposed to them being 17 12 and 13 or whatever whatever the case may be but guys i think that is where i'm gonna leave this episode of planet zoo come back next time as we finish out this zoo with the rest of the species that we need i've already got some great ideas on exactly what to do for those animals and we're really going to be expanding maybe up the hill there a bit and definitely out in this area i thank you very much for watching this episode remember if you did enjoy the content hit the like button comment down below and if you have not already subscribe to the channel thank you so very much for watching and have a great day